Welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to another bus vlog. Today we are heading a little bit south to pick up a shower pan for the bus. So basically I'm going to build the shower around the size of this pan. So hopefully that one works out. After we pick that up, we're going to head to an RV supply place, which I've been wanting to get to for a little while. They won't give me any sizes on the phone for any of the tanks or anything. You just basically have to come out and look. So I am headed there to have a look and see what they have. Well, that was a success. We picked up the shower pan. So this guy here will be what we build our shower around for the bus. So we've got that. Now we're gonna head to the trailer store and see if we can find everything we need for the plumbing. Okay, we made it to the trailer store. So we're gonna go have a look inside the warehouse and see if we can find any goodies. Well, that worked out pretty good. They have the water tanks that we need. So, we are going to have to make another trip back here with some drawings and uh, maybe to be a little bit more prepared, but have an idea of the sizing now and kind of how everything works, how to vent the tank and what I need for a water pump, et cetera, et cetera. So, lots to learn. Uh, back to the drawing board now to draw out the water system. Well, that looks like some good news right there in the driveway. Not sure if you can see it. Try not to hit it. So in those boxes is the dry core floor panels for the insulation that I'm going to use on the floor of the bus. So super excited to have those delivered. Now the shower pan that we just picked up today has something to go on. So this is a project that I thought was gonna take a little bit longer than it has so far. I guess I haven't run into anything too crazy yet, but uh, so far it's rolling along and things are going pretty quickly and pretty smoothly. So super excited to have the insulation here and uh, ready to get started on the floor. So these are what the panels look like. You can see they have a tongue and groove in them. And then they're super solid, dense core. And then they have, i show you here, they have all of these guys on the back for airflow. And you do not need to put any type of wood on top of this. So I can actually lay the vinyl flooring directly on this, eliminating the amount of wood that's on the floor, hopefully eliminating the amount of moisture that gets inside the bus. So let's uh, hope that these guys work out. I think they're going to. I'm pretty excited to try them. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see me install this dry core subfloor inside the bus. So I was browsing on Facebook Marketplace and I came across these Ford Transit seats which are going to work perfectly inside the bus and provide some safety and a place to anchor car seats for younger kids and those that want to wear a seatbelt. So what goes around comes around. Someone's van build, removing their seats and I'm using them on my schoolie build. They were not the easiest to get inside the bus. They were quite heavy. Probably could have used a little bit of help with this one, but they're all inside now. If you want to see more of this bus build, make sure you head down below and smash that subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button while you're there too. And until next time, take it easy out there.